Hi, this is Brian Ray for Side Effects Software with another Solaris Quick Tip. Today we're going to be talking about modifying two materials simultaneously using a Edit Materials Lop. I've got a material set up here. I'm just going to come over here and I want to be able to change the base color texture on both materials at the same time. So I'm going to click this gear icon here, which lets me promote subnet input. And what that does, you'll see you get a little tab here on the file parameter. If you go back up to the top, you see that now the file name is on your top level material instead of being encapsulated inside. So I'm going to make a copy of this, and in the copy, the only thing I'm going to change is this metalness parameter. I'm going to set that to 1. And then I'm going to come out to the stage level and say autofill materials so that I can assign these materials to both of my toruses. And you'll see they just turn black. All right, so now I want to make an edit material properties lop. Edit material. I don't want edit material network because I'm not going to change anything about the wiring. I just want the properties. And what you can do with this one is if you grab one of these materials and you drop it in the primitives here, and you create, click create parameters, it's going to find any parameters that are at the top level of that material and put them here on the edit material properties. There we go, and we have just the file name. We don't have metalness, roughness, any of that other stuff, just the one parameter that we promoted. So then if I come over here and I grab a texture, say the bricks base color, we get the texture on just one of those materials. Now if I grab both of these materials and I drop them in here, now it's changing the base color on both of them, but you can see there's still distinct materials. You can see the extra reflections on the metallic version reflecting our HDRI, and the, the main one is still matte. So that's a way that you can, if you wanted to be able to have materials with different setups, but they share the same file, or they share a similar control, like you want to be able to control the metalness on everything simultaneously, this is a good way that you can do it. All you need to do is promote the parameter up to the top level, and then use the edit material properties to fetch those into the top level of your USD.